Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pain Train, and welcome back to Witcher 3. I was supposed to give Rosa lessons again today, but uh, I feel like I'm in the wrong spot. Maybe I'm here too early. It is 7 in the morning. Hello, am I here too early? Maybe I have to leave, leave the place. Ho, ba, ba. ho, ho. Alright. Now let's see what it says if I wait till tomorrow. Okay, now I can... Where am I? Hey, let me in. Greetings. Are you here for a specific reason? Yes. Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia. Yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a Who exactly I am. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's going to be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Where's that? This way. I thought we were going to be sword fighting. Ten, ten points of experience for that? Hey, cat. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. We're going the wrong way. We're actually leaving town for this. No loitering, around here. loitering, I'm running. Why did you take me all the way out here? Alright, we're here. No Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Bar Atra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off. Quickly. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. Okay. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. What is this about? Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. My metal Pick sword? My steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. I don't feel comfortable. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. <sighs> I mean, I guess we fought that that one dude with the, with our real sword. She's good though. I'll give her that. I mean, pretty good compared to like. Most of the people. Ow. Ow. Stop. I yield. Yeah. You all right? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. What now? All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward. But would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. 
I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Baratra will kill me. Need to find her. Are you kidding me? Can't be far. Okay. Why would she do that? Why would I? Why would I fall for that? Obviously, she was either going to run, or uh, like try to try to get a fast one on me. <laughs> oh, I turn around. Ha! I got you. What now? Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. Hey. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie. Oh, we'll accept the world ourselves. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss. Off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas! Whatever. You guys can both burn to death. I, I just really don't care. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Wow, you're still alive. I don't know why. Wow, I cut him in half. Did you run away again? Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs. They got what they deserved. <sighs> Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. What was the point of this? Hey, we did it. Hey, cat. Alright, uh, so we're going to Skellige? Why are we going to Skellige? Yeah, we need to finish, we need to finish this one first. Hold it, hold it. Back to the, back to town. Is it that you dude again? again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow around here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Why? Why? I don't want to fight. Don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lesson. Oh my gosh, why? Are you kidding me? What is that hit back? Hitbox? There's no way. I feel like I should burn. Stupid. That enough? Yes, but next time. <laughs> Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? 
Yes. We shall say. Oh my gosh, why, dude? Why? I don't understand. Just stop being stupid. Alright, we're finally back to this place with Zoltan. I don't know if he's even gonna be, aw gonna be awake at 2 in the morning. Hey, bro. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? If you want to stop talking any day now. It's an owl. <laughs> Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Quint with us in no time. But we were to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? <sighs> Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. The Troberitz, apparently. Named Kamenetta or something like that. Ah, uh, makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's Priscilla? Who's this Priscilla? A troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. <laughs> Doubt it. Hmm. Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop, Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. <laughs> it's just an owl, dude. After sundown? Okay. It's like three in the morning, so I guess we'll... We'll uh, rendezvous there. Okay, we're here. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. <laughs> His voice is so nice. What is this? Bro? That guitar has more, more, uh, better textures than all of Pokemon Scarlet. also not a guitar. Sucked in. Hey, relax. That guy, it's the what was his name, the King of Beggars or whatever. hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a stormy violet eyes, glistening as you weep. You flee. 
just keeps going. Okay. Nice, very nice. Good performance. A standing ovation. What's up with her? I know him. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent disturbance. I didn't do anything. Get out. He risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. Hello. You're what I'm here for anyway. I wish to listen to music. Music. Someone hit her with a rake. Permit me to introduce uh, Alessia's Priscilla, known also as Calanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... It's Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Hey. <laughs> Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Okay, all right, all right. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven, what's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait, left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. What was he thinking? Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. Sure. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. I'm laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He had debts he needed to pay off. Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matters that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. <laughs> Let me guess. The tempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair, and Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... <laughs> Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. Yeah, I know the King of Beggars. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'd be in deep then. Well, here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? 
I don't know where Horson, but Riven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't Fair. doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Okay, looks like we have new stuff. Uh, let me get out of this room. Back to the bathhouse and talk to Siggy Ruben. I'm gonna smack that lady that called me out. Wait, how do I get out of here? Alright, to the bathhouse. This looks fancy. Knock, knock. Witcher's here. Anybody there? Open up. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as we terribly busy. What? Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. It's another all plot episode. Ziggy Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm Happen. Hello, Happen. That is one of the strangest names in this the whole game. In the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. But then I won't have my swords. How am I supposed to intimidate without my swords? Scars. Thanks. Wait, I thought you said it was closed. Go in here. You said it was closed. It's not closed. And they're not closed. Orson Jr. is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Jr. when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Look at this. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. That's the beggar. Who the fuck are you? Chill, dude. Oh, Witcher. I'm a Witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. I knew, I knew me not having my swords was gonna be a thing. Have to fight my towel? Can I still do magic in my towel? Whoa! Yeah, let's ru run him. We got him. We 
just killed a bunch of people. In towels. I feel accomplished. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence. Why do I, I just killed a bunch of them with you. I just killed a bunch of them with you. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. <laughs> Francis Bedlam, you know? But then, who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Veres, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Hmm. Junior is gonna help me find someone. Orson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. <laughs> See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. <laughs> Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Poor son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, geriatric. Now in name is, want to find Poor son? Find me first. <laughs> I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Oh, this episode is just so much plot. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear I don't know sorry anything that happened between them. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. You're one to talk. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake. Someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Seems like a smart dude. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. 
Well, I'd call them my partners if we built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Fair enough. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Okay. Where's his house? Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. I guess we just gotta ask where all these big places are. Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. He's very helpful. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. <laughs> and if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Does he know about Dandelion? Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old mandolin. I hope not. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, <laughs> he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. I do <laughs> Okay. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in oh me was. Oh my gosh. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. Okay, get get and to if it. If you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Pictures worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Sure, Think whatever. as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. What are we doing now? This is the movie episode. Be so kind as to follow me.
Aha! I can save. Which means I can do this next time. All right. This has been like a jam-packed, like, all plot, all movie episode, and I am honestly a little bit winded of it. So we will continue this next time. Thank you guys for joining me for Witcher 3. If you enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe, follow on various social media in the description below. And as always, have a blessed day.